Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Miniart. Obviously it is modded in 135 scale and it copies uh, Bantam 40 BRC with British crew. It's a special edition and as you can see it is part of the World War II military miniature series. Here it's written that it's special edition but we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all box is not that big but it's not that huge surprise I would say because we have just a car in 135 scale. There are three figures here you can see comparison with my hand. Let's flip it over here we have some safety devices barcode and also address of the manufacturer in case you would like to visit them and then on the opposite side you can find the two marking options. I think that's pretty much all what is included but let's hope for the better. Maybe we will see more inside. So this is a top opening box. Top part is quite I would say thin so be careful with placing anything heavy on the top. And here we have all parts packed into one plastic bag, sealed plastic bag and we have assembly manual on the bottom. So first we are going to start with this plastic bag and then we will continue with assembly manual just like in any other video review which you can find on our YouTube channel. And in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us financially, it is quite easy thing to do because we have special button on our website, you just press it and you will be redirected to the PayPal gate and of course you will decide how much we will get so now all your money will be used for new equipment and new kits which will be reviewed here in this video so um, we are glad for your help some of you already helped and some of you who didn't you can help us just by pressing this button so here we have all the frames we are going to start with mini art envelope as you can see um, it is a traditional part of the mini art kit which features P parts because here we have unpainted P thread. Let's zoom in. Now you should be able to see it. So here we have various parts. As far as you can see there are uh, both internals and external parts and of course these elements will require due treatment so you have to carefully um, paint them with uh, primer first, actually I brush them with primer first and of course install them with help of CA glue but otherwise it should be um, quite a handy addition for fine detailing on 135 scale and as I said before assembled vehicle won't be huge so that's why uh, P parts are more than welcome in such kit. Here we have another sealed plastic bag, this one is dedicated to the clear parts and also decals. So just give me a second. I'll remove everything and we'll check. First of all here we have clear plastic sprue so obviously it packs glasses for the windscreen and as far as I know masks are not included so you have to cut them with your own hands. And then we also had two decals sheet. So here is one and here is the second one. Both are printed in decograph and as you can see we have even dials for the dashboard so it should be quite a fine addition but as far as you can see there should be only two marking options which might be a quite sad thing for some models but nobody stops you from searching for some aftermarket additions. Okay now we can move on to figure parts so obviously they come on the separate plastic frame here are the R and parts division is typical for 135 scale it means separate legs, separate torso, separate head and also separate hands here. We can zoom in even more so that you can see what we have here and of course all poses are predefined so you won't be able to change them and if you flip over this sprue there are no guiding elements whatsoever so be careful while joining all this stuff together. But uh, as far as I can see this parts look quite okay, even the smallest ones they don't have any flash or other possible molding damage so it should be uh, relatively easy to work with them and get them into the right spot. Okay next we go on with another plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to the Bantam Jeep itself so let's zoom in a bit and here we have foam which actually protects this grill in the front 
it will be replicated with separate port and we can zoom in actually a bit more so that you can see what we have here so here is the grill we also have this main part main body part which is molded as a one piece element some modders will be happy to see such power division it should make it easier to assemble whole vehicle and here we have some additional parts which will be placed on this vehicle so we also have the plastic frame for the windscreen but it can be replaced with uh, PE parts and also here you can see um, not that nice amount of flesh but it can be easily fixed with help of um, sharp knife or maybe with help of something else the same goes for these parts for example as far as you can understand these are doors but we will check it in assembly manual okay and the last gray plastic sprue here it is this one is dedicated to chassis so here we have also road wheels which are uh, fortunately molded out of plastic which is really cool because it will make it easier and faster to paint them and to weather them and get a more convincing appearance here we also have leaf springs drivetrain which is molded as a one piece part the same goes for this chassis and also some engine parts so we can zoom in a bit more again so now you can see what we have here Overall molding quality even here looks fine and here on the thin parts you can notice small bits of flesh but again I'm saying that it is solvable but I mean it is quite surprising to see some flesh in the new kit but this Bantam as far as I remember it wasn't released recently and if you can give me a second I can actually check it on PC so that we can understand how old it is it is kit 34235 okay just give me a sec funny thing is that it is okay it should be like this okay so it is it was released in 2008 and it's almost 12 years so that's why it should be understandable why we have small amount of flesh on some parts and last but not the least is this assembly manual so obviously it's a must have in order to assemble the model so what do we have here it's a smaller brochure than we are used to see in mini art kits but still it is printed in the same style it means color printed brochure with short list of the features and if we open it here we have parts map also colors chart and note that many manufacturers are covered which is really cool assembly process starts with engine and here i recommend to spend some time by adding wiring for example or painting um, and also replicating some weathering in order to get a more convincing appearance here we continue with drivetrain and also leaf springs and next we start to work on the car body there will be a lot of PE parts to apply as you can see here and note that you are given choice between PE part and also plastic part so it's not like you have to use PE parts because otherwise it won't be replicated but here on the dashboard you are not given any other option so if you would like to replicate it you should use PE ports. Here we continue with the seats and it is quite surprising that we use PE ports for these seats. Note that you have to cut off some parts so be ready for this. You have to sew off the plastic obviously. Here we assemble plastic wheels and install the chassis together with car body. Also we assemble the windscreen and as far as you can see still we will have to use this plastic part and it will be combined with P part here but actually you can install the P parts from one side and install clear parts a bit later in order to avoid using the masks maybe okay next here we continue with a separate bonnet cover so it can be I think it can be positioned in open uh, state so we have here the special support bar as you can see so even though manufacturer does not suggest this still there should be a possibility here we continue with PE parts from both sides as you can see and next we have marking option it's a vehicle from North Africa 1942 and here we have what why we 
why do we have oh so it's two marking options combined just like this and also small marking guide for figures and here we have other kits in 135 scale and some of them we reviewed already so you can find uh, videos on our youtube channel for example we were recently checking the grant kit which was really cool so this kit should be already available it's a pro novelty as far as I know and it is available for quite a reasonable price so if you would like to assemble the small vehicle with British crew it might be a good choice in 135 scale of course I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for watching and bye